All right, buckle up, folks. This is going to be a wild ride. I'm diving into a story that could straight up reshape the tech universe, and I'm channeling that Elon Musk energy to break it down for you. No fluff, just the raw, unfiltered truth about what's going down with TSMC, the biggest chip maker on the planet, and a U.S. ultimatum that's got the whole world on edge. The United States just dropped a bombshell, telling TSMC to shut down its China operations by July 8th or face some serious consequences. This isn't just a corporate slap on the wrist. It could be the spark that sets off a global semiconductor crisis. Stick with me, because we're peeling back the layers on this one, and trust me, you don't want to miss a single detail. This is about the future of your phone, your car, AI, and maybe even the spaceships we'll need to get to Mars someday. Let's set the stage. The semiconductor industry is a $600 billion zero cents juggernaut, the lifeblood of everything tech. From the phone in your pocket to the AI systems running the show behind the scenes, chips are what make it all go. TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, is the kingpin here. They churn out over 60% of the world's advanced chips, the kind that power iPhones, NVIDIA's AI GPUs, Qualcomm's tech, you name it. We're talking cutting-edge 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer chips that keep companies like Apple and AMD ahead in the innovation race. Without TSMC, the tech world would grind to a halt. But here's the crazy part. TSMC's got factories in China, and the U.S. is now saying, shut them down. Why? It's all about national security, AI dominance, and the escalating tech war between the U.S. and China. This isn't just about chips, it's about who controls the future. The U.S. has been tightening the screws on China's access to advanced tech for years. Export controls on AI chips, restrictions on chip-making equipment, you name it. Washington's doing it to slow China's rise in artificial intelligence and military tech. But this latest move? It's a straight-up bombshell. The U.S. Department of Commerce is zeroing in on TSMC's China-based factories, specifically those making 7 nanometer or smaller chips, the kind used for AI and high-performance computing. They've got until July 8th to comply with new export restrictions, or they're looking at sanctions, maybe even a total ban on their China operations. This is huge, and it's not just about TSMC. It's about the global balance of power. Here's where it gets juicy. A TSMC chip was found inside Huawei's Ascend 910B processor. Huawei's on Washington's restricted entity list, so this was a massive red flag. TSMC swears they didn't know their chip would end up with Huawei, but the U.S. is cracking down hard, and TSMC's caught in the middle of this geopolitical firestorm. Let's talk stakes. Semiconductors are everything. No chips, no smartphones, no self-driving cars, no smart fridges, no AI, no military systems. If TSMC's China factories get shut down, we're looking at a ripple effect that could tank the global supply chain, prices for electronics could skyrocket, production delays could cripple industries, and China's AI ambitions could either take a hit or, here's the twist, get a massive boost if they pivot to domestic chip makers. Let's back up for some context. Back in November 2024, the U.S. told TSMC to stop shipping 7 nanometer and smaller chips to Chinese customers after the Huawei incident. TSMC complied, cutting off companies like SMIC, a Chinese chip designer suspected of funneling chips to Huawei. But this July 8th deadline is next level. Word is, the U.S. might revoke waivers that let TSMC, Samsung, and SK Hynix use American tech in their China factories without case-by-case -case license. If those waivers are gone, TSMC's China operations could grind to a halt. We're talking billions in losses and a seismic shift in the semiconductor landscape. Why is TSMC such a big deal in this drama? Simple. They're not just a chip maker, they're a strategic asset. Taiwan produces about 60% of the world's semiconductors, and TSMC is the crown jewel. If China got their hands on TSMC's tech, through trade violations or worst-case scenario a military move on Taiwan, it could dominate the global tech industry. The U.S. sees this as a national security nightmare and isn't taking any chances. Some analysts even say the U.S. would rather destroy TSMC's factories than let them fall into Chinese hands. Sounds intense, right? But... That's how high the stakes are. TSMC's not just a pawn, though. They've got their own game plan. 
They're pouring $100 billion, zero cents, into building five new factories in Arizona by 2030, churning out two nanometer chips to reduce America's reliance on foreign semiconductors. That's a bold move. But they're also warning that tariffs or restrictions could backfire, raising costs for American consumers and hurting demand for their services. Companies like Apple and NVIDIA could feel the pinch. And guess who pays for that? You and me. When we're shelling out more for our next phone or laptop. Then there's China's side of the story. Beijing's watching this like hawks, and they're not just sitting there. China's semiconductor industry is already ramping up, with companies like SMIC pushing to make advanced chips despite U.S. sanctions. Some experts say these restrictions could actually speed up China's chip game. Huawei's already working with SMIC to produce 5 nanometer and even 3 nanometer chip stuff people thought was impossible under sanctions. And even 3 nanometer chip stuff people thought was impossible under sanctions. If TSMC's China ops get shut down, Chinese firms might go all in on self-reliance, potentially closing the gap with Western tech giants faster. So what happens if July 8th rolls around and TSMC's China factories are forced to shut down? First, the global chip supply takes a hit. TSMC's China plants are a big chunk of their production, and losing them could mean shortages, especially for AI and high-performance computing chips. Second, prices for electronics could go through the roof, hitting consumers hard. Third, China's tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent might face delays in their AI projects, but they could also pivot to domestic suppliers, giving companies like SMIC a boost. And TSMC? They could lose billions with their stock already taking hits after news of this deadline broke. But don't count TSMC out, they're too big to fail. Their global dominance and investments in the US give them serious leverage. Plus, Taiwan's got strict rules to keep TSMC's most advanced 2 nanometer tech at home, making sure they stay a critical player in the chip game. Still, this July 8th deadline is a wake-up call. The tech world isn't just about innovation anymore, it's about geopolitics, power, and control. Is this a semiconductor apocalypse, or just another chapter in the US-China tech war? Nobody knows exactly how it'll play out. If the US follows through, it could reshape the global economy. If TSMC navigates this mess, they might come out stronger. And if China doubles down on their chip making, we could see a new tech superpower rise. The next few weeks are going to be critical, and I'm telling you this is the kind of thing that changes the world. What's this mean for the future? The semiconductor industry is at a crossroads. TSMC's dominance has kept things stable, but with tensions spiking, companies and consumers are bracing for impact. Could this push innovation in wild new directions? Some say China's investments in risk architecture and homegrown chip makers could challenge the West in the long run. Others think TSMC's expansion in the U.S. will keep them on top. The implications go beyond chips. This is about AI supremacy national security, and the gadgets you use every day. Will the U.S. curb China's tech ambitions, or will this spark a new wave of innovation in Beijing? And what's it going to do to the price of your next phone? We're keeping our eyes glued to this one. So what's your take? Is this July 8th deadline going to trigger a chip crisis, or is it just political noise? Hit me with your thoughts. Want us to dig deeper into China's chip push, the future of AI hardware, or how this hits your wallet? Let me know. This is about pushing boundaries, asking the big questions, and staying ahead of the curve. Let's keep the conversation going and figure out what's next for this crazy tech-driven world we're living in. Stay curious, stay bold, and let's keep exploring.